we are getting close to the end of the year. The countdown is on. I know you feel it too. So if you feel like your pipeline is getting a little dry, I'm going to share five powerful steps that are going to tighten up your lead generation, streamline your systems, and help you close a couple of extra deals before the end of the year and fill up your pipeline for 2025. That's what it's about. Let's get to it. Okay, before we dive in, I want to prove that this is going to be amazing for you when you implement it. And to do that, I actually wanna show how this landed with an agent who I am coaching who took on this process when she joined the Market Authority Academy. Here's what she said. I am so glad I joined, no regrets at all. I think it's really great content and this is helping me really think about my business and what I want it to look like going forward. I know I don't want it to look like what it has been. I want to be that agent. If you wanna be that agent, let's get to it. I've got these five steps to help you close out the year strong and start up 2025 on the right foot. Okay, so step one, we are going to be looking at the leads. No surprise. There are a couple of things specifically that we want to know here. Looking back at your leads that came in this year, where are they actually coming from? Have you been consistently getting leads from the right sources? And if so, are you actually allocating your time and energy to generating leads from those places? If not, then find what lead source worked best for you this year and double down on that through the end of the year to fill up your pipeline in the next couple of months. The next thing that you want to ask yourself is with follow-up, with those leads, are you actually following up or are you ghosting them as soon as they don't really like sound enthusiastic about moving forward quickly? The answer to these two questions is going to help you give you a lead generation plan through the end of the year. And by the way, did you check that video that I just posted last week where I walked through a couple of scenarios where lead tracking needed to be tightened up for the agents that I coach? Go watch that if you haven't yet. That could be a good one to help give you those skills to know exactly where these leads are coming from. Okay, step two, we're gonna ask ourselves a little bit of how we're doing with our routine. Are we getting a little loosey-goosey with our time management as the end of the year approaches? That tends to happen this time of year. Things get busy, we're coming back um, into school season, we're getting into the holiday season. Now is a really good time to think about what your routine needs to look like every single day going into the end of the year. Here's what I suggest. Okay, this is the easiest way to manage your time in real estate. Here's what you're gonna do. In the morning, you're going to dedicate your time to lead generation. As much as we can handle, like we're not going to book appointments during the morning. If you can push appointments like inspections or showings or anything you got into the afternoon, that's what you wanna do because you want to prioritize lead gen in the morning. That's when you feel fresh, energized, and you have the most focus and clarity. And then in the middle of the day, like think lunchtime to 3 p.m., 4 p.m., that's when you're going to do your appointments. That's when you're going to try to push the appraisal appointments to the inspections, showing appointments as much as you can. And you're going to do that in the afternoon so you can run around as you need to. Or if you don't have any appointments, you are leaving this open for projects. If there's a project that you want to close out at the end of the year, or if you're planning a holiday event for your clients, you can schedule in time for that deep focus work in the afternoon if you don't have appointments. And then end of day, you're going to do your admin. So any big like admin stuff, like updating notes, finishing out your, those emails that you need to send, any admin stuff is going to happen at the end of the day because that typically requires the least amount of brain power. Save your brain power for like the really important stuff at the beginning of the day and then push your admin to the end of the day. This stuff is important, but it's also not super urgent. So if you don't get to it, more than likely you can push it to tomorrow without much of a consequence. Okay, once we figured out the lead plan for the end of the year and dialed in our routines so that we can do the lead plan, right? Next, we're gonna look at our client journey. Okay, again, anytime we have in the afternoons to, de to dedicate to like these deep focus items, that's when you're gonna look at your client journey. So pick a day, coming up where you can schedule some time to analyze your client journey. What is happening before, during, and after the transaction? If you have no clue what I'm talking about, you need to stop right now, go down to the link in the description below and get my free class for real estate agents where I am walking you through my three system blueprints for real estate agents who want their business to thrive. And a big part of that is the client journey. We're talking about before, during, and after the transaction. Look at what you can do to beef up your client journey because this is going to help you close deals that are in the pipeline already 
you know, like get people off the fence. And it's also going to help you get referrals because this time when you have a client in the pipeline and when they are purchasing a home or directly after is when they are most likely to refer you. And so think about what you're doing to create a really special client journey between now and the end of the year to make that happen. I mean, look, we have the holidays coming up. There are a thousand reasons to spread appreciation with our clients between now and New Year's. Really lean into that and see how you can just sprinkle a little something extra with your client journey, either during your follow-up, during the actual transaction, or after. Okay, so after we're looking at that client journey, we're gonna take another minute to do a quick audit. Again, anytime you have coming up, this is gonna take you literally 15 or 20 minutes at the most, and this is going to be huge for your real estate business going into 2025. So what I recommend for your brand audit, look at your entire digital brand, all right? Look at your real estate website. Look at your social media profiles. Absolutely look at your YouTube channel or your Instagram profile if you are posting to those consistently and trying to generate leads from those. What you wanna do is freshen up the photos if you need to. So like, look at your headshot, make sure that it's the same headshot across all of your digital presence. Click all of the links. You probably have some broken links without realizing it. Go fix that. Update your links as necessary. Even me, like I feel like I'm super on it. This week I found a link that was like two months old way broken. Like nobody could even click it. And it was in my Instagram bio. Like how embarrassing. Go ahead and fix that before the end of the year so that you are walking into 2025 knowing that you have a fresh optimized digital presence. Okay. The last step here, you are going to take time to declutter and organize. Do you see that, that a lot of what we're doing here is working on the business, not in the business? That's because a lot of real estate agents tend to go into a little bit of a slower season as you get into the holidays. And so we are taking care of the business we can, providing an amazing client experience and keeping our routine in check while we're doing that. We're also going to schedule some time in to work on the business and make sure that everything is on the up and up. We actually just had an agent in the Market Authority Academy share how she had a big win of finally creating her own dedicated workspace in her home so that she had a place where she can like do her real estate work. If that sounds like you, maybe now is a good time to figure that out. Make sure that you have a beautiful, clean, organized workspace that helps you feel energized when you start doing your work. If you're like us and doing a lot of your work at the kitchen counter or at the table, maybe make sure to give yourself a little bit of time so that you can like, you know, feel good about where you're working. Bad habits after 10 years, you know. Also organize your digital files. Look into your inbox. If there's any like stuff that you need to delete from months ago, get your inbox cleaned out, freshen up your desktop, even go onto Pinterest or Canva and find a really nice desktop background for your laptop so that you just feel really good and energized, you know, freshen it up. Now is an amazing time to be doing these things that normally we wouldn't really want to do because we've got a lot more of this going on. But if you don't have a lot of that going on, you're going to focus on these further steps down the line, right? Right. Okay. And then I have your last bonus step for the end of the year. My friend, do not forget to celebrate a year well spent. You made it through another year in real estate. Whether it was an amazing year, take the time to acknowledge it. If it was the hardest year in your life, acknowledge that too and celebrate that you got through it and that you saw it through to the end. One thing that we love doing is we go and schedule out on our calendar an amazing dinner, just the two of us, me and Bryce. It's our end of year dinner. And just imagine today what that would feel like at the end of the year to like clink your champagne glasses and toast to a year well spent. Even if it was a terrible year, right? Or even if it was an amazing year and you're just, you're so excited, you're looking ahead, not really thinking about like where we're at today. Take some time, schedule it in, celebrate the year. Let's end the year strong, my friend. And look, if you really want 2025 to be your best year yet, you don't have to go it alone. What I want you to do is look below, click that link to book a free real estate business strategy session with me. During that time, what we're gonna do is dig into your business and see what it did this year. And we're gonna look at what you want it to look like in 2025. I will then tell you and give you a step-by-step -step plan of exactly what I would do if I were in your shoes that you can take and run with. If you want my help in coaching with the Market Authority Academy, I'll walk you through those next steps too. Thank you so much as always for tuning in. Till next time, keep on crushing it.